A student produced this for UND's TV show, Studio One. Future pilots come around the world to train at the University of North Dakota. As part of the world's largest collegiate training fleet, many students are able to experiment with different ways with flying. National Aerobatics team member Cameron Jacksmeyer is here to explain how flying has taken him to the national stage. Thanks for joining us today, Cameron. Thank you. First off, what is aerobatics? Aerobatics is basically just a sport. Uh, we focus on safety a lot, but um, when it comes down to it in competition, we're focused on precision of the angles and the lines and timing, uh, all being graded by the judges on the ground. So how did you get into something like this? Uh, I tried out the course here at UND. That was the uh, first place I ever went upside down in an aircraft, and it was a lot of fun, so kind of got addicted to it after being scared the first few times. But um, then I went down to California, did some more training down there, and uh, went on from there. So what type of training did you receive? Uh, here we train in a two-seat high-wing aircraft. Uh, it's very good for, uh, it's probably the best aircraft you can use for basic training in aerobatics. Um, and down in California, I trained in a more high-performance, low-wing aircraft, um, more capable of advanced maneuvers. Okay, so what teams are you currently on? Uh, well, I was a member of the UND aerobatic team uh, through the national competition of this year. Uh, since I graduated, I'm no longer eligible for that after this season's over. Uh, now I'm a part of the U.S. advanced aerobatic team and will be competing in Poland and hopefully bringing home the gold in August of next year. So how are you judged in competitions? Like, is it a point system, or how does that work? Yeah, so each figure is given a difficulty rating, and you have a grade of 0 through 10, uh, broken up into increments of half points. So um, the amount of points available is divided by 10, and based on uh, every five degrees, you're off on a line, or if timing's off on rolls, then uh, they deduct points based off of that. All right, so I know we have some videos. Can you explain what you're doing when it comes on? Uh, sure. So. Here this is a more of a uh, pushing maneuver. Uh, we're experiencing negative G's here, about negative six G's. Uh, all the blood's being pushed to your head. You can see in the rolls, uh, it's quite, well, trying to be precise. This was early season, so it's not as good as it could have been. Uh, this is at nationals of this year. Um, accuracy of rolls, again, on the vertical downline, uh, pulling about nine G's there at the bottom. How does it feel to be rolling around like that? Uh, it's a little disorienting at first, but you start to get used to it. Uh, as you can see in this video, we're rolling at a pretty good rate. Um, this is more air show type figures as well, but it's uh, good practice for um, making your mind slow the figure down while you're in the aircraft. How quickly did you get used to that feeling? Like, what did it take? Uh, it took quite a bit. There's different levels of aerobatic competition, and um, to be safe, you want to progress through them at a pace that you're comfortable with. So. Um, it took about three years to get to the level that we're at now. Do you still remember your first time doing it? Like, how did you feel that very first time? Uh, I wasn't too comfortable hanging from the seat belts upside down, 3,000 feet above the ground, but I uh, got used to it after a few flights. So what has been your personally biggest accomplishment in this sport? Uh, biggest accomplishment? Uh, three years ago, it, I made it a goal to make the U.S. Advanced Aerobatic Team in 2015 for the 2016 World Championship. So uh, probably uh, achieving that goal was... So what is your personal favorite part of it, though? Uh, favorite part of aerobatics is uh, the challenge that it presents, because uh, you can never be perfect in anything, and always trying to become better in something, uh, I don't know, keeps your mind active, keeps your body active, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So do you have any goals to achieve at the national level? Yeah, at the national level, uh, hoping to eventually take home first and advanced. Uh, we'll see how long that takes. Uh, at the world level this next year, I'm just hoping to compete the best that I can and hopefully uh, be able to contribute as much as I can to the team so that we can bring home the gold. I know you sometimes bring people up with you. How do you prepare them, like brief them on the ground? Yeah, there's a lot of briefing. Um, aerobatics is all about safety. Uh, it improves pilot skills, uh, but when we take other people up and they're not used to it, um, the main focus is safety and comfort. Uh, people who aren't used to, I mean, especially like my first time flying upside down. If you're not used to it, uh, it's not very comforting, comforting uh, to begin with. So we brief them a lot on uh, the parachute, the use and operation of it, uh, emphasizing that we're most likely not going to have to use it. And um, then throughout the flight, we progress slowly through very basic maneuvers, uh, going with what they're comfortable with. Is, what's the best reaction you've had when someone's come up with you? Uh, there's a few screamers. Those are always fun. Uh, <laughs> you can't hear air traffic control too well, but uh, yeah, when they're screaming, uh, you know they're having a good time. 
So what's next for your flying career? Are you still going to stick with aerobatics or commercial aviation? Yep, sticking with aerobatics for now. Um, I'm working uh, air shows, not performing, but working ground crew for a friend uh, down in the south. So I'll be ferrying that aircraft between air shows next year and uh, dedicating most of my time towards the U.S. team uh, so that we can do our best in Poland next year. All right, well, thanks for joining us today, Cameron. Yeah, thank you very much.